People, man, just you gotta have a gift to get on here and continue to be able to talk and make this come out the correct way. Without man, a lot of rappers, you know, we can they rap hard, but they can't talk. You know, what I'm saying you put them on, you clap, and they might they can't say nothing. And I was like, man, I want to make sure that I want to get somebody on the album with in a, in, in a nice flowing voice that's able to introduce a song. And we was going through all types of lists of people to do it, other rappers and everything. And I told them to reach out to Mad Hatter. And it was and it, it was about a promotion move at the time. Let's bridge the gap. 97.9 is becoming big, man. Let's go get Mad Hatter. And the way he introduced that song, that's him introducing it before Don't You Know. That's very classic. And he and it came out very smooth. And hey, man, and since then, man, you know, I'm always into stuff like that. So don't think that that was by accident. That was not by accident. I chose for you to do that. And you know, yeah, and you, Jay Mac, you know, when he told you and let you get that freestyle, I was the freestyle king right then. <laughs> you are. Shout out to Pat. Pat the freestyle king. Yes. And Pat my answer. Right. And he passed it down to me. You know what I'm saying? So what people don't understand, people that right. want to be the freestyle kings and all that, when the word freestyle king came out, people was in diapers. You know what I'm saying? They was in elementary and fifth grade. Now, I didn't say that people wasn't freestyle kings, that you were king of freestyle, but the actual king, though, is J-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nah, so I, I love Sean Holland and everything. So me, I'm one of the first artists that was able to understand that you do need the radio. You know what I'm saying? You do need the internet radio. You do need these people. There's a lot. Hey, listen, when we were young, we didn't think we needed radio. Yes. We didn't even need nothing. We didn't need the north side. We didn't need nothing but screw. And that's it. That's all we know, nothing else. So me getting my first deal, I was the first solo artist from the screwed up click, the first one to drop an album. So I always tell people, I'm not saying that there's a lot of different fans and a lot of different comments. Fat Pat, Ghetto Dreams, one of the greatest albums ever. Three, two album list, Beyonce. But I'm saying as far as the culture, the, the art of freestyle, that type of rap, don't mess with Texas was the blueprint. It was the first. It was the first album that gave that type of rap leg. It was the biggest hoax because everybody that heard that album, they was ready for me to do a freestyle album. Yes. They were just as prepared for that album to be freestyle just like a regular screw tape. Yes. And for them to hear me take the freestyle format and put it in a poetry form, because if you listen to those words, they really freestyle words, but they all put in poetry form. And it was the first one. It was the first one to talk about these cars and this pain and this this drinking and these cups and these these uh, TV screens all in the ceiling. I was the first one to introduce that type of music to a mainstream. Um, uh, and shout out to Robert Giller, man. That's my man. He gave us all an opportunity. And these were the days when we were really getting to do 100,000 and 20,000 the first week and 75,000 a month. I, I want to do that right now. You, you can give me that right now. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You give me a hundred thousand right now. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm different and I know and understand the game. So for us to get that opportunity, man, uh, to have uh, a moderator from 979 to speak on my album, it was a transition of me becoming, like I tell her, it's the difference between an artist and a rapper. Right. See, a lot of some people still are rapping, and I just try to tell my artists, man, it's time to transition over to being an artist. So I was young and hard-headed and arrogant, so that was me starting to take steps towards becoming an artist. It's a little bit more than a rapper. Yes, now, going to part two of his question was, do you know in the moment of any time that you're creating a song and you're putting something out, no artist is able to put a song out and say, hey, that's going to be a part of history. Now, 713 Day just passed, and touching again on what Manhattan was saying, you are iconic, period. You set the blueprint, period, for the city of Houston, not a and the whole southern region of the United States. So you had other legends, uh, Paul Wong, you had Slim Thug, everybody was saluting you on your day for paving the way. Your album, Don't Mess With Sex, was dropped in 97, was the album that inspired them to be who they are today. And all these boxes, everybody is popping their hats off to you. So, do you know in the moment that you are creating history? Four nine seven nine five. If you want, you can follow. No. Get some seasoning. No, no, no. And I don't, I don't really know. Now, you know, now as we do music, now we in the studio, we do music, and we say, man, this is gonna be the one. 
even if it ain't gonna be the one we just did. You know what I'm saying? But right then, um, you know, I was more enthused and more just happy about just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was gonna be the best shit talker at the time, you know. I wasn't thinking about 20 years later. I can only see and and, and you know, what I tell people from a Texas artist is I will give and I will curse. Some of this independent life it, it, it curses. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell people the difference. Look at um um uh, Beyonce, yeah, they went to um I be wanna see niggas win, man. Yeah. Especially my nigga. No matter where you roll. Yo, what up, Bass Town? It's your boy MC Big Chill. I got the 979 powerhouses right here. They do their thing, man. It's going down on the south side. South side. For real. I gotta I gotta get that right, Howdy. You know what I'm saying? We out here representing Kiki. Yes, sir. Yeah, he lied. Deep in the south. Man, I just wanna ask y'all a couple of questions, man. Where you see the music going and what you what you want to say about Kiki? Just your opinion of the well, game right now. Well, I say this. First of all, congratulations to Kiki on his 20 years in the game. Uh, 20 years on the album. Uh, I think it was a breakthrough album. Like I said earlier, like for the people that were here, you know, it was an album that many people sampled Kiki's voice and yes, sir. bought That's a lot real. of the culture yeah. and the language from Kiki. Uh, so first of all, salute to him. As far as where the business is gone, man, if I could tell you that, man, and looking at crystal ball. <laughs> We'd all yeah, be yeah, so yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. I'd be rich. Man. Hey, that's the best sales I, I can deal this. with that. I think the OGs got to respect the young Gs. I think the young Gs got to respect the old Gs. Yeah. And I think there yeah. needs to be collaboration because yeah. I think it's it's always a learning curve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The young Gs got to learn from the old heads how to do it the proper way. To do the way. business. That's right. And then they got to yeah. do their homework. They got to yeah. know who came before them. Too, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm and respect just don't that. Come yeah. there and just eat off of it. Learn about it a little bit too. But it goes back and forth. But I I I don't like to see when the old heads going in on the young kids. Let them do what they do because these grown rappers in their late 30s and 40s shouldn't be jamming to what an 18 year old boy <laughs> doing in the first place you know what yeah, i'm saying your real. mind's supposed to be in two different that's places yeah. but you can't sit there and assassinate them boys yeah. educate them so they can grow into men so they can make yeah. grown men music but we had grow. ogs that's growing right. up that's but right but let them learn at their pace let them have their fun you know that's what i'm talking from. about for real now you know i got to come back i was there earlier I gotta talk to the freestyle king right here. That what they, hey, look here, I'm with that. You understand know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jay Mack, let him know some things, man. Just happy to be here. Like he said before, this is the 20th anniversary of Don't Mess With Texas. It's just happy to be able to witness history. You know, it's a different thing if you weren't there, but if you were there. I've seen it, that's right. And then you make it to see it? Yeah, yeah. It's incredible, and I'm just yeah. happy that I'm here to celebrate it with him. It's a blessing, man, for real, man. Once again, I thank y'all, man. It's the TexasPlug.com. Your boy MC Big Chill with nothing but Big love, Chill man. In the building. Putting it down. 2017. We blessed y'all. You know yeah. yeah.